Hi everybody, Aaron Nagler here at Cheesehead TV with another edition of My Ugly Mug, Philadelphia Eagles Week 1 edition. Um, first of all, big win. Huge win. Uh, conference win on the road. Um, not everything going according to plan, obviously, but uh, on both sides of the ball, but huge win. Um, Aaron Rodgers, not his greatest day, as even he admitted afterward, uh, going 19 for 31, under 200 yards, pass rating of 71. Um, you could tell the pressure got to him a little bit there in the first half, uh, three sacks given up, probably could have been more. Um, Mark Tauscher looked definitely overmatched, and uh, Chad Clifton struggling wasn't a surprise to me, at least. Uh, I wrote on Friday that uh, Trent Cole matches up very well with Clifton. I, I kind of expected to see that. I kind of expected him to get a little more help. Uh, but as usual, McCarthy uh, steadfastly refused, in a way, uh, until the second half when he, um, you know, put the uh, the snow tires on and really started pounding the ball down the Eagles' throats there. And how about our boy Brandon Jackson? Uh, anybody who reads Cheesehead TV knows in what high regard I hold this kid. And he really stepped out. Grant went out with an injury. Brandon Jackson ran hard. He was breaking tackles. Uh, making the right reads. He had a good game. A very good game in Grant's stead. Uh, special teams. I think that's fair to say. The shock of the day. Um, great coverage on uh, both punt and kick return units. Um, Jordy Nelson on kickoff return. Are you kidding me? I don't think anybody saw that coming. Uh, so the Packers will definitely take that. Interesting to note that uh, all offseason, yours truly included, many Packer fans were... Uh, clamoring for Bobby April and upset that uh, the Eagles hired him after he was let go of Buffalo. Bobby April, well-known, well-respected special teams coach. Um, Mike McCarthy stuck to his guns, and so far, week one, it's it's paid off with the extra attention paid to special teams all throughout camp. Sean Slocum's crew really came through today. And, and let's not forget Mason Crosby hitting a franchise record 56-yard field goal. Pretty impressive. As for going forward, uh, looking at the defensive side of the ball, uh, you saw some pressure finally. Uh, we were all nervous about that, obviously. Uh, lovely to see it up the middle a lot of the time. Uh, I think that was a bit of unexpected. You saw Clay Matthews being moved around a lot. You'll continue to see a lot of, a lot of that. I don't worry too much about what Michael Vick did with his feet, just because he's Michael Vick. And as you can see, I think he's back as far as the athletic player that we saw before he uh, was suspended for uh, the time he was in jail. Um, what I am worried about is some of the guys that he missed. And Michael Vick has never been an incredibly accurate passer, and that played out again today. Uh, but there were several throws where he was either behind guys or in front of guys or just flat-out missed guys uh, where they were open, and that happened quite a lot. And I think a more accurate quarterback really would have exposed the Packers secondary today. Um, of course, that will play out later in the year, probably uh, when we go down and face Washington. I doubt it happens next week against the Bills, but then again, you never know. That's why it's the NFL, and you watch the games, because anything can happen. Um, getting back to the offense for just a second, uh, I think, like I said, I think you just ran into a, a really good uh, matchup in favor of the Eagles as far as that defensive line. I don't think fans realize how good that defensive line is and uh, how good some of the talent is they have on that side of the ball. Um, Mark Tauscher did look a little slow, and he has started uh, slowly the last couple years, so I would definitely monitor that. It'll be interesting to see if T.J. Lang gets some reps and practice this week um, in hope of who was inactive today, so who knows. Um, and then that last thing I wanted to touch on is the injuries. Um, looking at a broader uh, broader view of the whole league how can you how can the NFL sit there and say that they want an 18 game schedule and they don't see how the injuries are a concern when you saw everything that happened today not just uh, in Philadelphia but across the league with you know it's just a war of attrition uh, and I just don't see how adding two more games is a good idea um, but I'm sure we'll have lots of time to discuss that as the year goes on uh, as it is, let's enjoy the win. It's a big win, huge win, gut check win. Gotta love it. Um, 
we'll have lots more tomorrow uh, on, here on the blog. Uh, make sure you check out the site for everything that's coming up. We'll have uh, Packer transplants on Tuesday night, obviously, and uh, we'll see you we'll see you here uh, very soon. Thanks so much. Have a great night.